had a few experiences where I've been invited to talk in even in Orthodox synagogues, I've been invited to teach. But the, the question is always, how are they going to call me? Because they have no problem inviting a woman to teach Talmud. The problem is to introduce her as Rabbi, or you know, Rabbi Beb, my colleague. To pronounce that word is very often problematic in Orthodox synagogue. And then, as a Rabbi, you have to ask your question, this question, can I accept to be invited to go there if I know ahead of time that they're not going to call me a rabbi? I mean, is it a, a breach that I can, you know, that I can accept or not? My, my gut feeling is that it's more important to be able to bring another voice there to be heard than to insist, uh, you know, telling them, I won't come until you call me a rabbi. You know? So it's, it, these are the kind of illustration of the kind of constant um, choices you need to make. How far am I willing to go to be able to bring another voice? You know, sometimes you need certain flexibility to, to, and serves your goal much more efficiently than being you know, 